Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve absolute value inequalities with less than. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. If you recall from our previous video, we had our rules for absolute value inequalities with less than. If the absolute value of u is less than a, then negative a is less than u, which is less than a. And a very similar thing happens with less than or equal to, to swap the less than signs. So let's go start uh, with our inequality here and apply that rule. We have the absolute value of 5x minus 6 is less than or equal to a 4. Our rule says, since we have the absolute value really by itself, that's like our u value and our a value is the 4. A negative 4 is less than or equal to everything on the inside, 5x minus 6, which is less than or equal to a positive 4. And now from here, we want to well, solve this inequality. I'm going to add a 6 to all three parts here. Negative 4 plus 6 is a positive 2, is less than or equal to what's left is a 5x. These sixes cancel, which is less than or equal to 4 plus 6, 10. Divide both sides by 5, or three sides by 5, actually, sorry. 5s cancel in the middle. We have less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 10 over 5, which is a good old 2. And the left-hand side is just a 2 fifths. So we've solved this here. Now we need to graph our solution. I'll toss that over here. Well. We have 10 over 5 and 2 fifths here, so we'll start with 0 uh, right here. And 2 fifths is between, well, 0 and 1, so put a 1 here. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 1. 2 fifths, we'll put it right here, it's about 2 fifths. Now you could make this even smaller and go by 1 fifth increments, but I think you'll get the gist here. At two-fifths, we have a closed circle because we can equal that value. So I put a closed circle here at two-fifths. Then we can go all the way up to two. So two, closed circle as well. And we can equal that two, right? That's why it's a closed circle. X can be every single value in between. So now we have X is less than, or negative, <laughs> two-fifths is less than or equal to X, which is less than or equal to two, and we've graphed that here. What about interval notation? Well, x can equal 2 fifths, so we put a bracket there, and it can go equal all the way up to 2. So put 2 there and put a bracket as well to show that it can equal 2. And there we have it. We've graphed our solution right here, and we wrote the solution in interval notation. Bracket, less, uh, <laughs> bracket 2 fifths to 2, and another bracket to close it up. I hope you learned something here on how to solve absolute value inequalities with less than. If you did, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.